Joining us now in Studio B, our second guest on this Friday, high flyer, sophomore sensation, Gabby Garcia Fernandez of BYU Men's Volleyball. Gabby, nice to What's have up, Gabby? you. Gabby? What's up? It was about time. Yes, yeah. it have is had, about have time. Have we had you man. in here? Nope. We didn't have you Not. in last year at all. Wow. Nope. That's RB. That's RB. We can agree on that. <laughs> <laughs> Gabby, how would you describe this season for BYU Volleyball thus far? Uh, it's been really interesting, you know, it's been ups and downs, it's been exciting moments and frustrating moments, it's been, you know, a good learning experience for the team and the coaches, and we're excited to keep going and give our best. You won two, you lost four, now you've won two, and you have Grand Canyon coming in tomorrow night. What's the key to kind of keeping the winning streak going? Uh, just our mindset, you know, just being ready to learn every day, being ready to work hard every day. We get in the gym and get after in practice and be coachable as a athlete and, you know, listen to people and be ready to learn every day. Nobody wants to go through a four-match losing streak because you're all competitors. You want to win every match you play. That said, a lot of athletes are in agreement that sometimes you learn your best lessons when you are at that bottom point. What did you learn in the four-match losing streak? Uh, I learned that BYU men's volleyball is not untouchable. We're not gods, and other schools recruit really nicely, and they recruit to beat us, and the same thing, recruit to beat other people. Um, also, I learned that not everything can go our way. You know, some things just go our way every time, and then now it just it went downhill, but now we're just ready to keep going up and then grow as a team. The standard's really high, so four-match losing streak's like, what's going on, right? Um, two assistant coaches uh, took other jobs. You replaced them, uh, and then you lost three All-Americans. So it's certainly been a different kind of makeup of the team. Um, so how has that affected you? Have you felt more pressure to have a bigger role on the team since you're kind of the returning big gun? Um, yes and no. You know, I trust uh, past players. I trust our coaching staff. I trust the new Guys that came to the team, I trust that they would do their job. Um, you trust them, but you broke Devin Young's pinky. I did. <laughs> I did broke, broke his pinky. In the yeah. alumni match, yeah. I did. Um, <laughs> but they're doing great. You know, um, coaches are doing really nicely. I, I love those. I love those guys. And every time we go into the court, we laugh all the time. And and it's great. You know, I trust my teammates that they're going to do their job. And it's been a good learning experience, you know. We lost Brendan and we lost Price and Leo, and they're really, they're leaders. They're like really good leaders, and now like people are taking their spots and filling up the shoes, and it's a really nice job to, you know, being one of the leaders in the team with other guys too. And I believe it's gonna be a good learning experience for everybody. The road challenges early in the season were significant at Pepperdine, at UCLA. I mean, you were really tested to away from Barbara home. Yeah, to really hard. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's yeah. that all is in a, a row, by the way. Brutal slate. That said, now you come home and you're playing in the Smithfield House. What kind of a difference does it make for you as a team playing in front of your home fans in one of the most electric environments in all of college volleyball? Oh, it's amazing. You know, Smithfield House is, is home, is where everybody wants to be, and, you know, is exciting and goosebumps when you do something and everybody comes up to their feet and you can feel the vibration on the floor because everybody's just screaming <laughs> uh and then you can barely talk to your teammates and it's i love the field house and i love this place and i hope i can play here for as long as i can let's talk about that communication there's uh, a brazilian there's a, a Finn, there's an italian there's a puerto rican so when it gets loud and you have four dudes that speak four different languages and perhaps two americans How's the communication like in that moment? Oh, it gets rough, you know. Um, the English is good. Everyone's English is really good, which is oh, yeah, great. Yeah. If it wasn't, it might be hard, right? Yeah. Uh, sometimes it get rough, you know. I, Felipe and David are my roommates, and sometimes we sit at home, and then we're, like, discussing something, and nobody knows the word in English, so we're, like, <laughs> really frustrated. Brazilian, like, Italian. Right, Puerto we're, Rican. like, yeah, yeah. saying it in different languages, but, like, um, <laughs> it gets, you know, sometimes it get rough, and, like, sometimes you feel hard to communicate with uh, setters or same. I feel hard. It feels hard to communicate with Davide or Felipe because like you don't speak the same language. You just all need to learn Latin together because they're Latin based. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah that's, the that's, key. that's it. That's it. That's it. That's the key. <laughs> oh, this doesn't make any sense. Okay. <laughs> now, before you go, Gabby, I want to ask you, 
what was your road like to BYU? Why did you pick BYU when you were so highly recruited by so many other programs? That's a great question. Um, I believe BYU is like my home. You know, is I live the same way to live here. It's a small place. At the same time, it's not that small. Um, it is cold. I can say that I don't. It's not Puerto Rico. No, it's not Puerto Rico. <laughs> uh, I don't like the cold. But other than that, it's like the way I live at home. The program is the, one of the best programs in the country. And, I mean, why not? You know, it's like one of the best schools in the world, and I don't regret anything. There's a rich tradition of Puerto Ricans. It's great to have you here. Uh, you're just a sophomore. It's going to be fun to see you your whole career here. And yep. We appreciate the time. First time in uh, Grand Canyon tomorrow night, 9 Eastern. Tomorrow night. Okay. All right, let's give him some karma. Some karma. Good luck. match against uh, Continue to Grand Canyon. Ace people. And uh, would Kills. you mind signing our Sailor Kook flag? Yeah, of course. Okay, awesome. Thank Gabby you. Gabby Garcia Fernandez, a sophomore think, sensation. I don't think we have a Puerto Rican on there. So that might be a first. Do we have another Puerto Rican? Not right now. I don't think so. Yeah, okay, right awesome. Now.